think kuna time i really used to be insecure about the way i looked my body because um, my family members kila mtu ako you know kila mtu amejenga ako na kamwili mm. so people are like ai when you first born kweli wewe ni vyako hata wewe unakaa last so now i'm looking like the last born because my sisters are dogo big brother so no so some middle mama dogo and it really did some damage to me because at some point una feel penye watu wako you don't fit in because kila mtu ana come to kubwa with you with your car, small body what una kudarau sasa ni wewe una come to to oh fanya hii fanya hii fanya hii yeah and it it really kuna tu venye ile ni affect so i was like if there was something i could change about my body maybe ni become less dogo wala kuni kweli Jeffy. yeah you know <laughs> so that you, you feel like you you fit it but it's so wrong yeah. no matter umepita base kuna maboy wamekaa wanapiga story unakuona eh hey, one gp one gp yeah 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 it it, it really affects it someone so yeah. I, i don't really think it's good to go to share anyone yeah people are different god created us as different Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Achiomo Pio and uh, here we talk about parenting. So today we have a special guest who is going to talk to us about body, body shaming. The reason why I'm bringing this topic is because it affects our children and um, sometimes it's good to talk about it so that we uh, tell you what to what to do when your child tells you that they are being body shamed. Welcome and please introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Becky Jen. Uh, thank you guys for hosting me today. You're welcome. So, um Debbie Jen, yes. please tell us what do you understand by this uh word body shaming? Ah, <sighs> well, okay. What do I understand by body shaming? Yeah. Okay. Um what I understand by body shaming is when people talk about how somebody appears be it your physique or how you know how they put this kuna june za kuna time naweza pita maji skin tone pita one to be ama rhino ama elephant ama elephant you know and people don't know how the impact that such a thing lives in somebody's life and it's so sad that it is a to a point we are bringing body shaming at our our total yeah you know children are very innocent people yeah our our do is be to at us do na kaje sio kwa kitu kubwa hapa sio sio ni kaje they don't know those things so sisi kama adults imetoka a a place where tuna tuna body shame mwenyewe tuna bila kwa kwa watoto tunasikia mtu ana ana so what are you doing to this child at the end of the day yeah that is it's it's very sad it's very sad because i don't know it's it's uh, because of the type of food we eat but the, the kids have been seeing around kumekuwa tuna and in a, there's just a way in which the kids are very mtu ako to very i don't know if it's very unhealthy or or, or overly fat yes um you can clearly see that the child is is prone to obesity i mean i am not a doctor but just by looking at it the child is just too big and you're wondering this child is just like two or three years old or maybe just 10 years old but the child is very big what is it what does it help someone to body shame such a kid is it because of them their genes as in kwani how wanapenda kukua that big so sad yeah and then you see when you talk of it at his school mate um to to mwingine names you know they pick that kids tend to pick a lot of things next time to see of kids those kids and i'm with kanono kanono yeah ama kichwa kubwa ama mm. you know those funny funny names ama mkono upi you know there are there are people who have had complications during birth they got that come wake kuna kwenye iko ama mguu they were amputated or something you know it's as a okay as parents i'm not <laughs> I'm not a parent yet but as adults yeah we should 
really be careful what we say around the kids and not just kids at all. Me kuna time I really used to be insecure about the way I looked, my body goals. Um, my family members kila mtu ako you know kila mtu amejenga ako na kamwili so people are like ay when you first born kweli wewe ni vyako hata wewe unakaa last now i'm looking like the last born cuz my sisters are um, kidogo big my brother is almost so some middle ni kama kidogo and it really did some damage to me cuz at some point una feel penye watu wako you don't fit in cuz kila mtu ana kama mtu mkubwa you with your car, small body what una kugarau sasa ni wewe una kama mtoto oh fanya hii fanya hii fanya hii yeah. and it it really kuna tu venye ile ni affect so i was like if there was something i could change about my body maybe ni kwa mrefu kidogo alafu ni kwa shape yeah you know <laughs> so that you, you feel like you you fit it but it's so wrong yeah. no matter umepita base kuna maboy wamekaa wanapiga story unakuona eh hey, one gp one gp yeah 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 it it, it really affects it someone so yeah. I, i don't really think it's good to body shame anyone yeah people are different god created us as differently we have different genes you don't know why somebody is the way they are so it's really really unnecessary it's very unnecessary shame. and then we are in an era where mental health is just yes. is, is is the main thing it's affecting across board kids adults everyone so you can imagine um i remember one day i was seated somewhere just enjoying my lunch and then someone you know passed by na kaniuliza unazali <laughs> you know i i looked myself three times i mean i was just like this holding and touching to ensure that am i pregnant or what did the person see but yes. now i realized that i was i was big yes i was really big but is I don't know. You know, mtu hujazoeana kuulizana na yeye maswali. Anakuuliza unazadi ni just because you have a karoto here. <laughs> And I was wondering what do I do to this rot of mine? Because now inanisumbua because someone else thinks ni ma, ni, ni pregnancy. Unaona? Yeah. Lakini haiumi. But bado inanisumbua mimi. So I'm I'm trying I'm just trying to say that when you see someone negative comments can affect someone mentally True. and when you It's start true. telling calling someone one gb or three gb or whatever you want to call or them or ro- you know yeah unaambia mtu he na hapo hapo sika mebeba karoto can you imagine you made it was roto time hiyo roto yote inakuanga hapo you know it's it's really bad it's yeah. really and it's affecting children so uh, the other day I told my son to eat. My son is is becoming very cautious. He's only five, but he was telling me mimi staki ni kule ni none. Can you imagine? Ametoa wapi? Yeah, it's so sad cuz I talked with another girl I, I knew. Mm. She was yeah, kind of big and then the friends were slim so unapata people are making fun of her to a point that she felt like she didn't need to eat akikula akila mekula sana she forces herself to like vomit you know mm-hmm. these things really affect people and we just overlook it cause at when you come and big thing or that you may you may make a very careless comment you don't know what that comment is doing to someone at the end of the day yes yes and we all take these comments differently whatever you're saying that you think is positive might be very negative to you and when i get affected sometimes it's so hard so very hard to scrap that thing off my mind so you can imagine if a child was affected in that way you see now here my child my my daughter says uh, i want to be a model i don't want to eat you know it's 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 that bad and that only means when they are in school they are discussing something but where is this emanating from <laughs> yeah. someone must have yeah. said something, something from the other end so this one brought it to school and now they are discussing it and it, it pains a lot and so uh, for us parents when our, we hear such things from our children for example Debbie had just has just said something here about calling another one another parent's kid can or no that is really bad and that's why i say there is no need of you hurling abuses because that's an abuse to that child and that child could not even have had you but when another child tells them that they will feel mentally 
they will get challenged mentally and emotionally they'll get affected. You don't want that to happen to your child. You don't want that to happen to your child, right? So I don't see why you would want that to happen to somebody, to somebody else's, else's child. child. Yeah. Uh, I would feel really bad if you were, someone called my son Kanono. <laughs> Ama you call my son Kichwakubo. If, if the head is big, fine, but that's his head. Yes. You did not create that. So if you start saying, Ona hako ka kichwakubwa, it feels really bad. And you don't want to affect someone else's child emotionally when you think yours should be kept um, emotionally well. It is really bad. Yes. Yeah. So um, as we close this meeting, Debbie, I, I mean, sorry, as we close <laughs> this discussion, please um, give us a parting shot. What do you tell parents who are facing this? Parents, children, I mean, when a parent watches, I can end up to uh, discuss them to work and then it would be good. Even little girls, sana sana the teenagers, yes. the most challenge that we have, iko hapa kwa teenagers, anapata mwili, unakuta kamutu kame, ata, they don't care, anakula too, it's, it's not like food ndiyo in a letter, but they don't care about it. And then once it, they start getting these uh, big bodies, now they start feeling out of place. Yes. Their friends start discussing them. Then unakutata kengine kameenda kakajinyonga. You know, we don't want those ones. So please, uh, what's your parting, for, parting shot for the day? Okay, I think people should just be sensitive. Okay, not everyone takes things the way you will take it. And then parents, let's learn to talk to our children. Yeah. You know, encourage your child. Ndiyo aneza kuwa kona iyo mwili. Si kupenda kwa. Like me, hata niki, oh, it's not like I'm a fan of food really, but hata niki kula aje. You know, my body is still the same. So it just takes a lot of encouragement. If there's something you can do to this child, because itatoka tuwa po, iende kwa sasa ingi ye self-esteem. This child atakuwa na kadama food. I'm different from these other children. You should talk to their children, encourage your children, make them feel good about themselves. At a see parents like okay, these adults who go around body shaming people. It's not like oh no, this is an idea. There is something you have that another person does not have. Stop body shaming. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Debbie, for being on the show today. Parents, you've heard what she has said. I mean, even though we we here on the show are not experts, we still know what is going on in, in uh, on the ground. Yes. kwa ground vitu ni tofauti. Unakutana na mtu, they think they can body shame you. They have no right of saying anything about you yeah. because you. Uh, have accepted yourself, you're proud of yourself, someone else should not come to to bring that down. So thank you very much for being here today. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please uh, take this perfect opportunity, hit the notification button so that every time we post something, you're the first one to be notified. Thank you so much and see you next time.